Are you hungry? Sit. Now down. Excellent. This is the Jamie Oliver book, Happy Days with the Naked Chef. Um, we're gonna make another recipe out of this. I, I, you know, I just like this book, so we're gonna make another one. I'm not a member of the Jamie Oliver official fan club or anything, but he seems like a nice guy from what I can tell. And I like his recipe. So this is broccoli and anchovy orecchiette. Orecchiette is just the pasta, so we're gonna try a different pasta because the large grocery store did not have that kind. But I love anchovies and I love broccoli and I love pasta and I love my wife. So we're gonna cook. So the first thing you have to do is trim off the flower heads off your broccoli and you're gonna save the stalks because we're gonna cook the stalks separate from the flower head. Trim your broccoli. We're gonna take all the, basically we're gonna take all the heads, the flower heads and cut them off like this. This is really, I mean, this is a really simple meal. You're basically gonna, you're gonna cut the stalks up and you're gonna cook them separate and the broccoli flower heads are gonna be thrown into the pasta at like the last three or four minutes because we're basically just, we're essentially gonna blanch the flower heads and cook the stalks with some butter and anchovies and garlic and just mix them together with some pasta and life is good. These, what we have to do is we have to trim off the outside of it. If you, I don't know if you can really see this, but the, you wanna get rid of the, you see this kind of nice green part? We want that, but we don't want this outside part. So, you just do it as the best you can. You can also try and use a, uh, what's that thing called? A carrot peeler. So I, I got a carrot peeler here and I'll show you. It doesn't always work, it helps, my carrot peeler is pretty dull. But, well it doesn't work at all. Ooh, look, I like, I like, looks like I know what I'm doing right here. We got these um, trimmed up, so we're gonna cut these up. We're gonna put it with some garlic and some anchovies and some butter in a pan. We're gonna cook this, and while this is cooking, we're gonna cook the pasta and then throw the broccoli in the pasta just as it's almost done, and then mix it together with some cheese, and then we're gonna eat. It's very simple. You want this fairly small, so you cut down the middle of the stalk like that, and then you just cut these up into little pieces. You like that? It looks like I'm a professional chef. <laughs> Maybe if some fancy chef knife company wanted to sponsor us, they could send us some free knives or something. <laughs> I would use them on the, on the internet show. Big Hint uh, Wustoff, is that one of them? Is that the, the knife company I like? So, I'll wear your t-shirt, send me a t-shirt. <laughs> is it German? Yes, of course it's German. Everything good is German, cool. except Italian food. And Jamie Oliver, the English naked chef, who I've yet to meet, but he seems like a nice guy. He doesn't go bam every two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we have to cook because we're hungry. Oh, what magic word did you say? Hungry. Oh, see you later, hen. This is actually a pastry blade or a flour blade, I think they call it, but this is great for um, getting the skin off your garlic. Just take it and give it a whack like that. Put it there. Down, smack, it's garlic smack down. So in the paper, well, in a perfect world, the paper comes right off, just like that. Is that your garlic? Yes, yeah, garlic from the garden. The broccoli. Ah! <laughs> it steams up. It's all blurry now. <laughs> oh, is it? Oh, wait. Right. That's more better. Is that better? Uh huh. Can you see me now? Uh huh. Anchovies? All right. Now, some right. people have never had anchovies before. You gotta get over it. If you don't like anchovies, you just gotta get over it. Because for the first 41 years of my life, I was like, ooh, anchovies. And then my friend, Bill, started making me putnesca in the first episode of Garden Fork. It's just all they are is salted and preserved fish. That's all it is. They're filleted, the heads are off. Eric, Eric. What? You need to wipe the lens oh. off again. You can't, you gotta stop getting so close to the, um. But it's pretty. Well, it's pretty, yeah, but you can use the zoom on the lens rather than shoving the camera. In the bowl. Into the bowl. <laughs> Just chop up the anchovies a little bit. Don't break up naturally. You got butter in there, you have the, the stalks. Now we need the garlic. 
I like to use the, this is a Xylus garlic press, which I think is the best garlic press made in the world. Um, and if they want to send me a Xylus t-shirt for some money, <laughs> I'll wear it. But um, I ran my, one of my Xylus garlic presses, I ran to the dishwasher and the finish came off and I wrote them a letter and I mailed it back to them and they sent me a brand new garlic press. So how's that for customer satisfaction or customer relations or whatever. All right, so there's garlic in there. Garlic, the broccoli stalks, butter, and the anchovies. And we're just gonna cover that and let that cook. For how long? Eight to 10 minutes, which is about as long as what the pasta takes to cook. So now, ta -da! Ta -da, I've been preheating my garlic not putting my pasta water. Is it foggy? No. So those are kind of fun shapes. I mean, so we'll put this in. What's it called? It's called, if, if Barilla wants to send me a check, I'll show, I'll wear their t-shirt. So there we go. So we're gonna set our timer for about um, eight minutes. No, no, we're gonna set it for four minutes and then we're gonna check the pasta and then throw in the broccoli florets, the, the, the green flowery part. So they basically blanch while the pasta's finished cooking. I think I burned the broccoli thing, uh, but we'll find out. We're gonna eat it anyway. The timer went off, so we're gonna put the broccoli heads in here. This one's kind of big, so I'm gonna kind of cut it down. You see how they turn kind of bright green like that? The trick is to keep them bright green but after a couple of minutes, um, they'll get kind of dull, and that's when you lose your flavor. Is the lens all fogged up again? No. All right. Not yet. So over here, um, I think I cooked this a little too far. <laughs> okay. You're too fast. Is it, am I right? I'm sure you're right. It's just fast. Well, because my hands are burning, basically. <laughs> And then we're gonna take this, the anchovy, anch wow. Nothing tastes burned at all, that's good. Um, well, it's a little smoky flavor, but this is the anchovies. Does it smell good? It smells really good. Okay. Butter, garlic, anchovies. Know. This is like the royal triumvirate here, okay. You're gonna think it's just little salt balls. All right, so this. <laughs> oh, you know what I should do? I should just put the pasta into the saute pan, because that way all the good stuff will get onto the pasta instead of me trying to scrape it all out. But look at that, look at that nice green color. This is great. It's pretty. All right, so we're gonna top this, we're gonna put this in the dishes and then we're gonna top each bowl with a big hunk of grated Parmesan cheese. Buy a chunk of Parmesan cheese, don't buy the grated stuff, it's pre-grated. It's just, it tastes like nothing, it tastes like cardboard. All right, but look at that, that's like a really nice color. Okay, let's plate the dish. Put some cheese on there, healthy amount of cheese. And, uh, oh look here, I'll be like a chef. And I'll take the little, I'll go like this, that's what they do on the TV shows. That was my, but I thought I had some squeeze bottle, I could squeeze something on there. But, but this is our dish. This is, uh, we're, gonna have a, we're gonna sit down now, have a glass of wine and a salad, and we'll have a taste test, all right? All right. Okay. So this is like, I mean, it's incredibly simple to make. You're basically, you're cooking down the stalks the same time you're cooking the pasta. You've thrown in some anchovies and garlic and butter. Um, it kind of cooks by itself. There's not a lot of preparation. You just got to cut up the broccoli. Or cook. Or cook. The broccoli is crunchy, but you get that kind of smoky, buttery, garlicky thing to it. It's good. It's very good. Is the lens all fogged up? No. Okay. All right. So that's it. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Ready?